Hey, hello everybody, and welcome back to Shenanigans. It's nighttime. It is nighttime. And you guys are pressing on anyway. That's not our map. Yes. This is because our map. nothing bad ever happened at night in the wilderness. Never. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look here. Make some dice rolls. Ooh. Hmm. So what are you guys talking about while you're walking? Um, I'd say I'm keeping pretty quiet. I'm trying to like keep uh, yeah, I'm just keep trying to keep stuff. Yeah, I'm also trying to listen um, for anything. Probably like sniffing every now and then, like to smell anything. Um, because let's see here, I have a minus one chance to be surprised. I see. Well, nice. Thea, well, Thea is also not saying anything in his mind. He's like trying to sort the information he has about this area. Why would his sister come here? Has he heard anything else besides this canyon? Just, you know, mm -hmm. that's why he doesn't talk in any way. Sure. Those of you, um, Torque and, and Kyla, would you make me perception checks, please? Yeah. Oh, okay, thank you. That could help. Adequate. Well, um, Kyla, you are the first to notice that you are being approached by a group of things in the distance. Things. It's nighttime, okay. so they're shadowy, and you can't really can't see tell. what you're seeing. Mm -mm. I can't tell if they're humanoid or anything. Humanoid-ish. Okay. They're lumbering towards you from a distance, yeah. Uh, I will tap uh, Doreen on the shoulder and just kind of like gesture in the direction and kind of try to get her to pass it on. Mm -hmm. um, can I... Oh, you know what? I'm just going to have a dagger ready. All right. Um, Torque, you become aware of this as well. Yeah. And you have a super sniffer, don't you? Yes, I do. Can you make super me sniffer. a separate super sniffer check? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. You know, we're probably, like, upwind of them. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, it's got to be yeah. up. Yeah. 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 Yep. The wind's coming from your back, and you yeah. can't you can't make it out. What What is it that they're... What is that? You know, I still probably also smell a little bit of the camp. Mm -hmm. Well, since you're upwind of them, they definitely smell you, and they are alerted to your presence and begin to sort of fan out when they're still a few hundred feet from you. Like 300 feet, let's call it. 100 meters. Does anybody fan it out. go off here to this? Yeah, well, I was trying to get yeah. people to... So yeah, if I see them, I like rush up to Tumwathir and I was like, we got someone up ahead. Look out. They're fanning out. Right. Yeah. Um... We should get into position in case they're hostile. How far did you say they are? 300 oh, feet. Like 300 feet. 300, damn, okay. Um, Guafia, 300 feet? Okay, Guafia will... How... Okay, if he's allowed to this, he will... Pro he starts probably seeing them, if they're pointed out. Yeah, it's dark. Um, that takes a moment, but you can spot them moving. Okay. How far spread out are they? Just... And how many do we think they are? Yeah. They're about eight. And they are fanning out fairly well. Mm. All right. Um, so what do you, you say you're kind of getting ready, but what does that mean? Um, Anything in particular, or are you just like stop moving and wait for them to do something? Uh, Wafia will ready a spell for when they get into range. Hmm. Um, yeah, what spell are you readying? Fairy fire. Okay. Just to get, I probably can't get a lot of them, but it's could help. Yeah, it can help. And he will step behind, so we probably align our positioning. So Guafia will and Kyla are step stepping behind. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah I can the front row. All right. Okay. And can I have a dagger readied? Circled. Depending on how fast, far out they spread. 
so there comes a, a kind of cackling laughter from mm. from these things out there, kind of a. <laughs> um, and a. They're definitely hostile. I've. I don't like shout, that sound. Um, towards you. <clears throat> Release your captive, and we may let yes let you live. Go <laughs> feel us. No. What? Man, man. <laughs> I just kind of yell out, what? <laughs> <laughs> Release your captive, and we may yet let you live. We don't have a captive. I don't know, I think they might mean me. I'll just yeah. sit out and... Yeah. Mm. You mean this loaf? I'll just say no. Which captive? Brother! Get ready to run. We will set you free at once. Oh, I am free. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> I am free to do as I please. So they speak our language then. Those dirty monsters. We'll get them for you. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I learned their language because I had nothing better to do. So you're really quite free. I am, I am quite free. Want a treat? Yes. All right. Well, um, I'll, I'll meet one of them. Like, I've got my big bag of treats. The, the gnolls close ranks into a smaller group again yeah. and approach Torque slowly. I, I have... I'm gonna have an attack ready. If they do anything hostile, I want to throw a dagger. Okay. I'm definitely yeah. like a little on edge because I've known some to be chill, some to not be chill. Mm -hmm. Like it entirely depends on like freaking. Sometimes it's the time of day. Maybe it's like what they had for breakfast or something. And I've got like one of the treats in my hand. Okay. Uh, they get closer and they see that you have a an actual food item in your hand rather than a, a meeting that which you wish to hold with them. And they look a little confused and, and they get the, the double meaning. They nod and go, I see. Yes. So now that it's just you and us, which one of them's the juiciest? <laughs> I like think about it. Probably not the two elves. They're, they're pretty scrawny. Um, and kind of old. Mm. Um, the short the human one. over there, she's kind of weird. Like she, she's got all these like goblin hands, and she wears them. Mm. But she's looks juicy. <laughs> eh, I don't know. I don't know. All I know is one of them's paying me to do stuff. So okay, I can go back and I can get food. Like, dude, there's this place in Berkshire. It's called Shenanigans. They got but the best steak holy crap like they it's so they cook it so tenderly and you it like just melts in your mouth mm, do you think she'll melt in our mouth here here that, why don't you go I'm back like, and 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 you distract them you you bring them something and he like pretends to hand you something and and you get them all focused on that, and then we'll pounce from behind when they're not paying attention, and then we'll rip her to shreds and eat her. Hmm. I'm, I'm thinking about it, like, thinking, trying to give the intent, like, okay, how can I make this even better? And, uh... See, I've seen him cast stuff to knock people... Uh, alright. Alright. Like, yeah. Yeah, sure. Um, what sort of stuff are they use? Are they unarmed? Uh, n the three of them have spears. The rest of them look to be just tooth and claw. Okay. Hmm. Oh, oh crap! They've got ultra spears. Um. All right. So, like, look at them. And are we in the open plains yet, or are we in? Oh the yeah, totally open plain. No cover for miles. Okay. Except for the grass. Hmm. 
okay. And I'll like, um, no, I'll like pantomime taking something. Mm -hmm. I'm like, it'll look like it now it's my treat bag. Mm -hmm. And then I'll, I'll walk back to them. And when I get back to them, I'm like, go out here, stand next to me. Um, gather around. They're gonna, they're gonna ambush us. And I wasn't trying to, I wasn't trying to freaking, I like, I'm whispering this, mm -hmm. but like, well, here, I hope you have something ready to take care of them. Um, kind of like get ready. Uh, Doreen, they want to eat you. I ready, mm. cut us gray. <laughs> yep. And so, like, uh, Doreen faced me, Kyla. How, um, how, how far are they from me? Yeah, how far? Uh, they're they're back maybe 100 feet or so from the party. Yeah. Okay. And I'm, like, and I'm just like, guys, look at what they gave me. <laughs> Whoa, come here, come here. Look, look at this, it smells so good. I'll play along. Just go a few steps next to him and just ready to cast just has a has a hand in his like pouch with pocket sand. Now is this one of your hands or one of Doreen's hands? <laughs> it takes a goblin hand. No, you wouldn't touch that. Right. Uh, yeah. So now that you guys are not actually distracted, but sort of distracted, you can see in your peripheral vision that you're looking out of, uh, the knolls kind of get low to the ground and start slinking forward. It's like cats thinking they're not being watched and mm -hmm. hunting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go and get some lights ready. We'll try and razzle dazzle them. It's pretty dark out here. Maybe we can blind them a bit. I just, I just have the pebble. They get closer. Should I attack? <laughs> and closer. They're 50 feet away. Okay, okay. I'll throw that, at that point, I open up the light. Oh, They'll right. be in the light. And I, and I throw a dagger. At them. <laughs> so both of you are trying to ambush the other. So yeah. I think we're just going to roll regular initiative because everybody fair. is very aware that danger is yeah. about to happen. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, that's the whole point was I was just trying to take away their freaking um, right. stuff and also not get gangbanged by eight dudes. <laughs> and yes, I know exactly what that sounded I mean, like. Yeah, yes. that's, that's preferable. Once I prepared casting something, can I just act once I get into range? You can roll initiative just like everybody else. Okay. This is some I good initiative so far. This is, yeah, we did really, oh, okay. Oh, uh, and then there we go. Almost all of us did really well on initiative. <laughs> you fucked it up, bastard. I'm fault. pretty sure they can't beat my initiative. Uh, they technically can, and they oh, okay, technically, okay. no, no, they can tie. And they do. Okay. One of them ties with your initiative. Okay, one. Um, um, okay, so. Go. They're fifty feet. Yes. I don't think I, I don't think I have any penalties because my normal range is improved for by like a ridiculous amount for that throwing proficiency. Go thing. for it. So, <laughs> all right. It's come this far. Just say. <laughs> Nineteen is a hit. You skewer one of these guys in the, the chest arrow, and it just crumples into the grass immediately. All right. Just. <laughs> Yep. Um, that's the yeah. same one that is charging at you or charging towards the group. You guys are going at the same time. So that one leaps to the attack on Kyla with a natural one. Yeah, so I think it like tries to hit you, leaps at you, but gets hit midair with a, a dagger and just like crumples into the ground um, while the yes. others start springing to action. The next one of them goes at five. Uh, and this one scampers forward, heading for Doreen with a bite attack that is an 18 to hit. Nope. Nope. All right, it sinks its teeth into your heavy armor, uh, scraping it with tooth and nail. And the next one does not go until nine initiative. All right. Can it's I just say, can you not, bro? <laughs> like a tooth not breaks up uh, off from your armor, I would assume. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yep. Um, so yeah, I've seen them try and take a bite at Doreen. Mm-hmm. Um, I was just like, there are much better things to eat out there than people. And uh, I think only, yeah, I've only got a plus one. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's, it, a... it, 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 it's too dark, you know? Mm -hmm. or, or Doreen might have taken out one of the pebbles and just like, it's still a little Yeah, bright. I took out a pebble and it's just like blinding him slightly, Oof. I guess. 
All right, Doreen, it is your turn. You've got your pebble in hand. Uh, you swing and it whistles right over the, the knoll. The other four jump to the fray, confused by Torque's betrayal and uh, not quite attacking him yet, but we'll get one more on Doreen, that 15 to hit, two on Gwyneth with a 13 and a 10 to hit, and another on Kyla with a 21 to hit. <laughs> Yeah, it was like four. Oh, so close. <laughs> uh, so the one on Kyla will sink its teeth into you for two points of damage. Okay. Um, and we roll initiative for the next round. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. Yes, you, you were going at the very end. I have two in front of me. Can I angle anything else into this color spray? You can definitely hit the two of them. That's about it, though. You can okay. hit maybe one and one that's not against you, but then you'd still be facing down this one. Okay, I will do uh, two in front of me, and I'll cast it 1d4 level higher just to get the... I uh, uh, cast as a level two, so mm -hmm. color spray, and I get... Two, two knolls. Hey, look at that. Uh, Dope. I, as they lunge at me, I take a step back. Pocket sand and Elvish, I say. <laughs> 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 Elegantly, pocket sand. And <laughs> so you're not like speaking in common saying pocket sand and elvish while you throw things at them. <laughs> no, I'm, okay. I'm saying in elvish pocket sand. Got it. <laughs> Got it. Um, do, 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 do. Six level or six dice are entitled to saving throw. Everyone else is not, so they crumple to the ground unconscious. Uh, leaving four left. Let's roll initiative for the next round. Bright flashes of color are springing up in the air. There's light stones emerging, countering the, the mostly moonlight. And there is a whirl of steel and bone. You guys, Kyla, you get another four. You go first. All right, I'm gonna pull out another two dagger, so I'm dual wielding mm. and I'm ambidextrous. I don't remember how this works. It's always uh, so penalty weird. Penalty of two to hit with each hand, but you have high dex, right? I have 17, yeah. So you should have no penalties to hit. You should be fine. Okay. 21 is a hit. Does clear by 10 against the unarmored knoll. Nice. Oh, okay. Uh, it's just... Uh, for six points of damage, drops a knoll to the ground. And you're offhand? Okay. Uh, okay. Still, still the same... To hit or mm -hmm. okay. Oh, oh my god! Nice. You clear by fourteen, <laughs> so double damage again. Oh god! Uh, triple damage. Triple. Uh, du yeah, double crit, triple damage. Thank okay, you. one more then. If it'll 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 show up eventually. I, I All right. Dirty. The other knoll drops to the ground. Um, the next one goes at five, and the one after that goes at six. Does anyone have a five or a six? No, oh, I'm at nine. All right, they immediately just break and run into the, the open Attacks. grasslands. Attacks of opportunity. <laughs> yes, uh, Doreen, I think the they're all on you, so you get one attack on each of them. <laughs> I was uh, also like next to Doreen. Actually, Doreen, you're a cleric, right? Yeah. So yeah, you only have one attack. Get, yeah. But that you do clear by 10. Cool. I'm not okay. I'll roll. I clear by ten. Yep. It's a single crit without an eighteen, right? Correct. Okay. <laughs> oh, what God. weapon are you using? A morning star. Yeah. All right. All right. So the knoll With crumples. Uh, one I'll... of the knolls manages to escape into the darkness. Nope, I just no, can't. Torque was next okay. to one of them. Yeah. Well, to hit, he so. starts running. Yeah. We can run as well. Uh, anyone in the party want to chase after the knoll fling into the darkness? Oh, I'm chasing well, him. Well, I can chase him. Uh, I mean, I've got 15 move speed, so. You could probably catch up to him. The rest of the party is going to kind of be night blinded with this, this yeah. uh, continual light pebble and the knolls like out of the range somewhere in the grasslands. Uh, yeah. So for if its if life. I take, yeah. If, if I take a half move, he's how far away uh like 60 yards uh 
uh, maybe feet. yards. Okay, then yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, Guafia just drew his bastard sword. The gnolls have run away, so he's like, "Well, might as well use it." And he he can probably coup de gras one of the gnolls that is unconscious. Yep. And yeah. probably I guess, I'll just, just, I guess I'll just ask. Yeah. Sure. So Torque is the only one who could yeah. really possibly run this guy down. Are you Torque? Oh yeah. 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 All right. Definitely. I mean, <laughs> uh, following as fast. When the prey runs, like, gotta go get him. Mm. All right. So Torque, it's on you. You start chasing down this person. You can move at yep. movement speed fifteen. You can yep. give me a perception check as you bolt into the darkness. Oof. All right, so you can, you're can you heading in the right direction. You're having a little trouble keeping sight of him over the, the sound and all, all the excitement that's going on, the transition from bright daylight to like nighttime light. Um, you're definitely heading in the right direction, but you've temporarily lost sight of this creature for this round. Let me just see where it is that you go. Um, yeah. But if I take a quick look behind me, it's pretty easy to see the daylight. Oh, yeah, you yeah, can't miss the party. Excellent. Definitely. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, cool. Good call. <laughs> okay. Uh, give me an initiative roll there, Torque. Uh, right. Actually, just a flat um, d10, since you guys would have the same initiative. Cool. Yep. Boom. All right, so you will go first. Give me one more perception check. Boom. There you go. Oh. So you're, like, running out into the plains, maybe pausing for a moment to catch around, look at something, when you notice that uh, there's a, a depression in the grass adjacent okay. to you, and looking down, there's a knoll lying low in the grass, curled up, looking up at you, hoping that you're not going to look over and spot him. Meanwhile, Tork is like, you're not Kyla. <laughs> <laughs> I like look down at him, growl, and grab him by the back, by the scruff of his neck, and drag him back to the party with me. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Like well, you drag the knoll back to the party, uh, who whines, <laughs> whines like a, a sad dog <laughs> being dragged to the vets. Perfect. And uh, I'll drag him back and get next to the party. I'll throw him down on the ground and be like, apologize. I'm sorry. He says a no. I'm so sorry. Wafia looks at Torque. Why is it still alive? I mean, we have finished off all the other ones. Just because he's alive doesn't mean we need to kill him. Are we going to spare him? That's fine with me. Mm -hmm. So like... So I'll let him like grovel for probably a minute, and, and then I'm like, like, I want to like take a dagger past him to like warn him. Right, probably do that, and then I just go over like, is he like laying on the ground? Okay, so I'll like flip him. I'll like with my boot, I'll like flip him over, step on his chest. Shut up. Look at me. You're not gonna attack me, the rest of my friends, or anybody traveling out of there. If you want, there's this place. So uh, it's in Berkshire. All right, you can go there. Just say you want, go be a good boy. You can go there and they'll get you food. They'll get you stuff if you want. You can go there or you can leave us alone. It's your choice. And then I like give him a, not like a hard kick, but a, a firm kick and say, get out of here. He bolts off on all fours into the <laughs> night, disappearing from sight. A, a swift kick in the rear. Yep. Yeah. Swift kick in the cheek. Well, <laughs> I suppose that was it. <clears throat> Gwathia proceeds to clean his sword from the coup de grace. I, like, uh, I just like brush myself off like, eh, not too worse for the wear. Let's go. <laughs> uh, unless you want- Only one uh, hurt? Yeah. I, I took two damage, but... Oh, awesome. Yeah. Okay. You don't want to take any hands, my dear, I suppose. Oh, yes. That, that's already happening. <laughs> she's already started sawing. Look over and she's already bone sawing. 
Yeah. You know, when it was gnomes, I was okay with it. When it was goblins, I was okay with it. But now with gnolls, it's just kind of like... These are your cousins, basically. Yeah, in fact, obviously. In fact, hold on, where are you from, Torque? <laughs> I don't know. Is it possible that these that one of these gnolls might actually be related to you? It, it's possible. It is, it is possible, but I don't know. I grew up somewhere where I was in vicinity to probably be kicked by a gnome as a pup. So mm -hmm. you turn over one of the nodes, mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, gnolls do come from this area over here, and there are some that live up that way as well. So it's very yeah. likely that I mean, it, it might maybe you should check see if any of these are family members before. <laughs> I don't think any of them are. Okay. Uh, I don't think any of them are. They they probably would have recognized me. Yeah. Okay. And I probably would have recognized them. Yeah, that's fine. Don't 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 look. Yeah. Just don't look. Well, yeah. Part part of it is like I don't. I kind of don't yeah. want to look, but definitely yeah. give like. It's like, it's like it's like glary, but like a very like accusatory a, glare at Dorian. It's like you're fighting. This. It's like you're fighting in a civil war, and you end up like near where you know family lives. Afterwards, you're like, I'm just gonna yeah. be over here, not mm -hmm. looking yeah. at everyone, just in case. Guafia looks at um, him. Uh, yeah, I don't know. You don't want to search them, from what I've heard about this place. Uh, trivial bandits and the like always have some mega treasures on them. Bodies. Am I? What are they wearing? Nothing. Nothing. They don't have anything. If on you them. want to search them, go ahead. Oh, please, I am not touching those. Oh, but you're the one that made the suggestion. I mean, I mean, he you was wanna... asking. Go, I go have ahead and search for whatever little baubles they have on their bodies. Not that they. It looks like they have any pockets to stuff it. In. I mean, Dorian will look for money as she's sawing, but it doesn't sound like there is anything. Yeah, I'll, take a, inside, I'll take a. I'll take All the gold just comes out of their stomach. That's, that's how monsters <laughs> work, right? That's how like, what is it? Trolls work. They they have like gems as a like loot on the table. I don't but it's just that. like they can't carry any of that so you just like carve them open I mean yeah they have, they... A, they have a trolls have a special like stomach that they like they eat gems and it just all goes there yeah all the, it's all from the adventure every beast and enemy in any game it's all from these adventurers and people they eat it's just the gold lying in their stomach from yep. this mm -hmm. their special money gem stomach <laughs> Imagine if a uh, if a creature actually evolved to have like a special stomach just for all this metal and stuff it eats. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I think after the hands are removed, we we continue on. I think right. we probably three people are standing a bit to the side for like thirty minutes while she's sawing off her hands. Probably also. Oh no, she's a pretty bit. strong. I don't think it takes her that long to saw off. Yeah, too many minutes. hands. Fourteen. You can hands. bone saw yeah, without worrying about. Hands. True. Yeah, but if you're if you're not worrying about uh, one's health or like safety, and you're just like you have a bone saw, I don't think it would take that long, especially yeah. if you're super strong. Probably no, not. I mean, to be fair, I'm going like between the arm bones and the hand, just like taking. You're just, just... going through the wrist, yeah. Wait, Lovely. Yeah. right, Nulls, the wrist, Nulls? not actually trying to chop through bones all that much. Nulls are large creatures, right? No, not in no. this world. No, they're oh, okay. they're like six they're... five, six six, oh, six seven. Okay, yeah, because I was thinking those are pretty large hands. <laughs> How many of them can you actually <laughs> carry on you? So? At what at some at what Neil the question is at what point does he does Doreen gain AC from just having so many layers of never hand? never <laughs> the hand armor flesh right. armor if you want to go to a special blacksmith or something not a blacksmith uh, an armor smith maybe you could get them to stitch the hands in one some way that actually provides AC bonus. Mm. So it'd be like chainmail, but it'd be hands. the hands are to terrify things, not for AC. 
Yeah. I mean, it's I'm, I'm an not inefficient. Gonna make him try to get AC. Yeah, okay. it's not an efficient method of gaining armor. Yeah. By the I way, at this point, it's just like no. The, and also, not more you're hands. Ready wearing armor, right? Yeah. Yeah, so it wouldn't increase your existing AC. Oh. Yeah. I don't know if no, there's I enough understand. arrows of flesh, maybe. Just get like two giant hands, one on the front, one on the back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just a layer of flesh. I, I just imagine that Doreen's form just gets bigger and bigger because of the more bigger hands and more hands that go on it. What's a game where you roll around and just collect objects? Katamari Damacy. Yeah. It's just like Doreen is that, but with hands. <laughs> hmm. Oh, Doreen, have you gained weight? Oh, no, that's just another layer of hands. <laughs> oh. There, we got some, we got some uh, bone saw sounds, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, 14 null hands. I'm guessing they're like two pounds each. Okay, so yes. some, some surgeons spent as little as 10 minutes amputating a limb in the Civil War. Uh, and that's when they're like trying to not kill the person. Yeah, and I, they're rarely amputating at the yeah. wrist. Yeah. You know, they're like cutting yeah. through yeah. arms or legs I think, or whatever. I think, a, I think a good couple just would get through. Let's just yeah. say it'll take you a, a minute or two to properly cut the hand. You don't want it too jagged. You know, you want to get it somewhat yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. It takes long enough that Torque becomes very uncomfortable. Yeah. Where and probably inside. walks away until the, the sound stops. Yeah. I mean, Guathi is probably already like 60 feet away from this because he's just, ah. Oh. I think Kyla's used to it. <laughs> what a horrifying thing to get used to. Yes. Kyla don't care. Ever since the swamp, Kyla's pretty, uh, pretty numb to the <laughs> stuff like that. So I assume after Doreen got her hands, her loot, after every battle. Yep. Oh. Okay, we can we continue going north. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you continue heading northward. Uh, all right. Eventually, the sun begins to break through or uh, arise up from the hmm. from the east, uh, and the party is how far? You've managed to travel. Uh, maybe 20, you're probably not moving at full rate, probably like 18 miles. You know, you waited till after dark and you're tired. So let's call it 18 and a half miles northward. Okay. Uh, you would know that the, this famed, not really famed, but this rumored snake canyon is somewhere up in this region. Um, now you've been walking all night long. You're definitely tired, but you're you're hardy adventurers. You can still push through. Um, what is your plan? Just keep heading this direction. We should gain some more time, um, some more distance while we still have some light, probably for about two or three more hours, and then stop. So that way, we're still more than likely ahead of where your sister will be traveling her requisite eight hours. Because I can tell your family doesn't like to push yourself too hard. Mm -hmm. I. I just say that straight to Gwath here. Well, that is actually a clever thing to say. I mean, the first part. And mm. I agree we should push forward to gain. If we rest now, they might, or probably will catch up to us. Mm hmm Yep. Um, I'd say push forward probably another four hours. So, Because it's probably like 5.30, 6 o'clock. Yeah. Push forward until about... 10 or so still morning rest up for like a s six hours like not definitely not a full time Four of rest well, push on until night and then rest another night okay. cool so you so we're still gonna be while. like super tired but mm -hmm. we're gonna be less than if we just kept pushing right right mm -hmm. right so you push forward uh many more miles that day uh, and after a couple hours of hiking, you've come to the uh, 
uh, the Tempian Range, the northern edge of it. The mm -hmm. flat plains are beginning to give way to rising hills. And behind you, you can see the excuse me, uh, the figures of mounted riders approaching. Uh, they're still pretty far off, but on horseback, they can go way faster across this open plain than you guys can. Um, um, can we tell how many? Yeah. So they are maybe, eh, maybe, let's say it's during your break, actually. That's probably when they would catch up. Uh, you see four mounted riders in your direction. How long have you had this break? At least four hours? I think you've probably been right waiting. Let's see. It would take them. How far exactly are you? You're 20. It would probably take them about four hours to get to you, four or five hours. So they probably haven't braked for lunch yet, and they probably left just at sunrise. So it's four or five hours after sunrise, and uh, okay. let's call it 10 a.m. All right. So, yeah. All right, it seems they are quite fast. We should make for the hills. <laughs> you mean the yeah. canyon or the hills? Um, the hills, I for mean, sure. Like, at this rate, we probably might not beat them to the canyon, but if we can at least not make it obvious that we're following them, like, from here we'll be able to keep an eye on them, rest up a bit, uh, later, I'm sure they'd. Do you think your sister would be smart enough to not build a fire in the open plains? Honestly, I'm not sure. She was never the type to well venture out into the plains. I mean, Silvers, you know. Um, so she'd probably want a fire, especially and keep it all night long, because I'm I'm sure your frail elven bodies get quite cold at night. Um, Mm. You're better than you the, in, you're better than this. Just count to ten. One, two, three. Yeah, do your little counting. Anyway, uh, if we can get up here, at least they won't know we're following them. Take, take the small victories where you can. So you guys are gonna push into the hills. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Try and get off the hill so we can watch their progress. Uh, you begin ascending the hills, watching the, clearly at this point, uh, elves on horseback coming in your direction. Uh, let's see, have they... Also, Grafia will obviously change his appearance again with change self. Sure, because sure. His form is probably recognizable. Mm-hmm. All right. I think Kyla's still in her disguise. You have you've been like hiking all night in your disguise. I feel like every so often well, you have to like stop and like readjust well, yeah, this it, thing and like it touch like this a, back up and sweat's coming down, so you gotta like yeah. wipe it off and like remake up a little bit. Okay, yeah, well if that's the case then no. I mean you could totally do it, but I, I feel like if you're no, hiking I'm, all night I'm in just, your disguise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was just thinking because we just left without like whatever. But yeah, no, I think I'm back to normal. Okay. Uh, all right, well, we're gonna take a break here, and when we come back from Excellent. our break, we're gonna see what the hell's going on. So see you guys shortly. Bye-bye. <laughs> 